Alright, here we go into the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista. They're doing some uh, work in the lobby, so excuse the drilling sound. Back to my right, we have the lobby bar. Plenty of seating areas. There's a big comfy couch, our kids will find it. There's the kind of cafe and shop. There's a coffee shop over there as well. They do have a Disney shop in here. Swag, souvenirs, any sundries you may need. They have an R2 unit in the lobby. It's not just like cardboard. It's actually like hard resin. That looks great. Oh, it even lights up. At the check-in desk, they actually have a green Easter bunny. There's a Chewy in our elevator. Ah, I can't do it that well. Can you do it, Brooke? <laughs> they do have a small arcade in here. Air hockey, racing machines, picker machines, which Brooke is obsessed with, even though she's never won. Yeah. I see. There are a few Disney touches too at our hotel. Courtyards have Mickey Mouse. Now we're out here to check out the pool. We're gonna spend the afternoon out here. Uh, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons of this pool. I do really like it and I do recommend it, but there is a lot of work happening. A lot of work happening and a few missing amenities that are still being implemented. So let's check it out. The first thing you notice is the kitty area with the giant splash pad, the dumping bucket. This is really great. The kids love it. Brooks already in there. <laughs> You also see there's a big cave-like fountain out there. That's really great, big centerpiece to this pool, and this pool is massive. But there's more. There is also another pool, maybe an adult pool, a little bit deeper over here on the other side. If you look back here, there is also a hot tub. There's the other side of the rock waterfall. Really nice. Looks like they have some cabana options out here too. But as you can see, still a lot of construction happening on. There's a pond out back. They were supposed to be doing a uh, grill and bar out here. This is where they would normally do it, I'm told by the staff, but not today. It says they are serving lunch in the picnic area, which I imagine this is. There's a basketball court and a volleyball court back there, but uh, no lunch available. Now, I did see this open earlier, but it looks like it's closed down, even though it's uh, just about 2 p.m. This was a little shop you get sunscreen, floats, anything you need for the pool, basically. Uh, looks like they have a sign up for henna tattoos. Again, I don't see anywhere to actually get that done. You can pick up towels here though. Uh, these towels are not the best quality I've seen, but you make do with what you got. Here it looks like is probably one of the bars they're putting in right by the pool. Here is the large grill and bar area they're working on. It looks really nice. A lot of shade back there. Looks like it'll be a really good experience once this is open. Just another quick note, looking around it on a hot sunny day, there is no shade out here per se, except maybe for the uh, cabanas that you may be able to rent. I haven't seen any signs on that, but otherwise there's no umbrellas or anything out here. So if it's a hot sunny day, pack the sunscreen. So as of right now, if you're self-sufficient and you know bring your own food, drinks out here, spend a little bit of the afternoon, you'll have a good time. Uh, there is some construction noises happening you might be able to hear in the background, but otherwise it's a very nice pool. Uh, I'll give it a B, just straight B. 
Uh, I'm hoping next year, if you were to come back and check this place out, it will be definitely a, a plus area once they have the grill set up, once they're done with construction, and once all the amenities are in full force out here. Uh, but for right now, still very happy with it. We're, again, very happy with this hotel. I could be nitpicky about a few things, though. So, highly recommend it. The Wyndham at Lake Buena Vista. Easy access to Disney Springs. Um, and it's uh, not a full-on Disney resort, but just on that kind of outskirt level. I should mention, with this, you do get extra transportation over the Disney parks, and you get the extra magic hours to, as the same as other people staying at Disney resorts. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for something a little bit different, that it pull out Disney Resort, this is a great option. All right, real quick, here's a peek at our room. This is one of the Disney View rooms. We just have double queen beds. So as you come in, there's a brookie. There's also your bathroom on your right. And we've been in here for two days, so excuse any of the mess you see. There you go. Basic bathroom, shower. Basic closet. You your ice bucket. It is, it is kind of nice to have like the seaboard background here. Hooks for your jacket, little cubbies. That's actually pretty nice for the kids. Then the beds, the children. Uh, the TV in here is immense. Uh, that's at least 55 inches, maybe 60. And it is great to have in here. Uh, there's a pretty large fridge hidden behind the door here. You can see, got a good amount in there. You do in here have a coffee maker, which we have already been using. And oh, you have these pull out cushions or footstools. Anything your kids want to use them for basically. Or climbing apparatus. There's all our beads for Mardi Gras. A little work nook, reading lamp. And of course the view of Disney where you can see not only my reflection, but also the fireworks at night. We can zoom out at Epcot, but there will be no fireworks happening anytime soon with Disney shutting down. I do like kind of the art, the overall layout. There's plenty of uh, chargers and USB plugs to use over here. So you're good for your phones, your kids switch, all their tablets or anything they have. Only complaint about this room is the housekeeping that we had. Um, we were about to head out and they knocked on the door. We said five minutes and we left maybe after two minutes. Um, and they never came back that day to housekeep. Uh, and then also the hot water in the bathroom uh, worked okay the first day. And then the second day uh, took about 15 minutes of running the shower for it to get hot. So I would give this room uh, and this hotel probably a three out of five right now. Once they're done with a lot of the work outside um, and maybe some service improvements uh, that we experienced, i uh, probably give it definitely a four out of five next year. Assuming they make those improvements and things get a little bit nicer, but it is still very nice. I would stay here again the same way we have uh, with without a doubt. So don't take my negativity too seriously. It's just nitpicking little things, but you know, they were important to me at the time. So thanks everyone for coming with me. Appreciate your likes, subscriptions, uh, and yeah, enjoy your quest. Take care.